Hey YouTube, today I'm here to talk um, to you about my new light kit. Uh, this is the first light kit that I built and I put a lot of work into this. This is, uh, I wanted to make this special because this is the first one. Well, it works with R13 and R12, uh, so that's a good news. I do not know about R11. It should work with R11 uh, because uh, it uses Espresso, but uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you to tell you if it does or does not. Um, if you have R11, go ahead and download it and tell me if it works or not. So let me go through uh, how it works and what's going on here. And the spheres here are just there to tell you where where your object should be, and it's also there just to for me to show you how it looks and stuff. So you can just disable the spheres light just like this, right? Okay. So just so you guys know. So the spheres are here. We want to show you the spheres. There's a camera right here. The camera is set up, and everything is basically set up. And uh, as, as long as you place the thing in front of the camera, you'll be good to go. So now let me show you how you control the lights. Okay. So here's your light kit. Uh, you you don't need to open it. Just click it, and you have your this. You'll have this. Just go to user data, and uh, this is how you control your light kit. When it's on, when the light kit is on, the eye is closed, like right now. When the eye is on, the light kit is off. Okay, that's how it works. This is the color of the light. It's slightly bluish, uh, light, really, really light bluish to give it that cool tone. And this is the brightness settings of all the lights. This controls all the lights in the scene. That uh, all the lights in the light kit. And this light, this light, this light, and everything. Okay, so now let me tell you what 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 the benefit of my light kit is. Uh, other than that, this light kit is pointless, right? If 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 it doesn't have any benefits. Um, so let's uh, let's render it. You know what? We're gonna render it without global illumination or ambient occlusion. We're just gonna do a normal pass, default pass. Okay, this is what it looks like in default. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me turn the shadows off. Actually, which one has the shadows on? Leave is this one okay? Shadow maps none. Yeah, you can turn the shadows on different lights. One is to the right, one is to the left, and one is dead above. And uh, this, I'm doing this render to just to show you the benefit of my light kit. Now, notice that we're using reflective material. So to complement your reflective material, you need you need stuff that uh, to reflect. In my light kit, you get a above the head uh, pole uh, or light that reflects here and gives uh, your object more character. Look at look at look at how it looks. I mean, come on. Um, let's. Uh, you know what? Uh, let me show you. Let me show you what it looks like when you. Um, you know what? Let me show you how to, what it looks like without my light kit. I'm gonna do a render without my light kit. This is what it looks like. Okay. Turn my light kit on, do a render, boom. Much more reflective, much more good looking. Without even anything, look, I don't even have anything else. Now I'm going to turn global animation on and uh, do a render. And it's going to go, it's going to go. And by the way, this is release 13, I'm showing you right now. Uh, R12 is the same thing, same thing, same exact thing. And uh, as you can see, global illumination, uh, our scene gets better because, uh, well, it's global illumination. Um, this is how it, your, this is how it's intent, intended to be used. Basically, your background scene is more washed out and your foreground scene is awesome. That's what most of the light kits these days lack. Uh, basically, they wash everything out. That's not how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to be you don't really see your background. Your foreground it has more attention to it. It's, it has more detail. And that's exactly how it is. Okay, let's do another render with, um, with global illumination with our light kit off. Wait, if we turn our light kit off... Uh, the global illumination won't do anything because well there's no lights in the scene because we just turned the light off so we're just gonna make a light and bring it in place it above and do a, do a render and see what it looks like okay do you see this do you see this you see there's a line right here that goes above the foreground is more washed out there's no nothing really complementing your reflections 
Um, so yeah, that's that's the benefit of, of my light kit. Um, so this is your light kit. This this is this is the file you'll get. Light H. Uh, expand it. You get the spheres here, and these will be closed by the way. Spheres, camera, light kit. You can turn the spheres off to place your object right there. And your camera is the camera. You know, I'm gonna add a protection tag to it, so I don't move it. Okay, and uh, here's the light kit, and uh, that's 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 how it works. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me see. Let me go to lights. Is the data on? Okay, thank God. And let's do another render with it to see how it looks, and it's gonna look freaking epic. By the way, if you have been wondering, this light kit is completely 100% free of charge. So there's no reason you shouldn't be getting it. Come on, man. It's free. This will And this will only help you. So, and uh, let me show you one more thing. The reason those uh, reflections are so good is because of this light that I have created right here. And this light has a pretty cool... Huh? huh? That That's what reflects. And... This light is also uh, given away uh, light, so that's that's our main light. That's our above light above the head. And uh, let me show you what else. Uh, this is our uh, sort of like side side lighting, side lighting, but mostly pointed to the back. And this is our uh, under light, basically um, lights under the subject a little bit. So yeah, that's our basic light kit. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, to install your light kit in your library, just go to Window, Content Browser, and let it load. God damn. Okay, okay, Content Browser and File. Uh, you're gonna go to New Preset Library and make your own library. Uh, name it anything and place your light kit in that library. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. This has been uh, HD Video Tuts or 3D Nut if you're from my website, um, which is uh, 3dnut.blogspot.com. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This has been great. Peace out.